you doing? Hello, everybody. Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's the weekend. It's Saturday, and I got a really great package yesterday, and I wanted to go over uh, a couple of autographs that I got back from PSA DNA, and it was done through a group submission with Garrett and Tiffany Unra. Uh, there were Slab City Sports Cards. If you don't know who Garrett is, his card cutter on YouTube. His channel is amazing. He's a great guy. Uh, he's currently deployed for the U.S. Navy, but his wife Tiffany is handling all the, you know, mailing and everything of the group submissions. And so I was able to send in a couple of cards that I had that I wanted to get slabbed up. And so I'm going to show those to you right now. But if you don't know Slab City and you need to do some autograph authentications through PSA DNA, they are the folks to go to. They are awesome. So hang on one second and we'll show some cards. First one is this card. I got this at the National and I bought it raw and I just thought that uh, it would look really good slabbed and I was right. And I wanted to just make sure it was, it looked legit to me, but it looked like kind of one of his transitionary autographs for Mariano Rivera. He had uh, just this big looping signature kind of early in his career. And so I thought I'd just make sure this one was legit. It came back authentic, which is great. Definitely uh, going to make the Hall of Fame, of course. Mariano Rivera will. But uh, what's neat about this, you know, normally I get my autographs graded. But in this case, I didn't because I already have a Gem Mint 10 Mariano Rivera autograph. And it just adds cost. So just thought I'd get this one slabbed up. So that's awesome. And this next one is going to be... Kind of, uh, for a lot of baseball people, uh, they're going to be like, who the heck is Tom Connolly? And, well, I'll tell you about Tom Connolly. Tom Connolly was born in 1870. He was an umpire in the National League, 1898 to 1900. He went over to the American League when it first started in 1901 because Van Johnson, who was the uh, league commissioner, promised to make to support the umpires more they were getting a lot of grief from players and managers and even uh, uh, the, the fans he actually got hit one time in the face with a beer bottle thrown from the stands for a call so he uh, started out in 1901 he actually uh, was the umpire for the first American League game and he umpired it by himself <laughs> so times have changed quite a bit but he umpired the American League for 31 years. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1953. He was one of the first two umpires. Bill Clem was the other one. Elected in 1953. He passed away in 1961. But uh, So his autograph is hard to come by. Uh, definitely somewhere around the $500 range is what Connolly autographs cost. In fact, it cost me 150 bucks to get this one authenticated by PSA DNA. Ironically, it already had a JSA full letter, so I knew it was okay. I just needed to get it slabbed because I, I do the Blue Flip Hall of Fame autograph registry. And I have like 210 or 11 autographs on that registry. And you have to have it slabbed as well as the autograph graded. This one came back at near mint to mint eight, which I think is okay. Um, it's obviously a really clean autograph, but where he signed it cordially, Thomas H. Connolly, the, the cordially part runs into his actual autograph and that takes away, that means it's not gonna get a 10, uh, regardless of if it is part of the piece or not. And so just a really amazing autograph for me to add to my collection my Hall of Fame autograph collection. If, if you're into Hall of Fame autographs for baseball, you'll know who Tom Connolly is and how hard he is to get as an auto. So just really happy to have this. Um, thanks guys for watching. That's it. That's all I got. Just two things today. Uh, really short video. Just thought I'd show you these things that I got from Garrett and Tiffany at Slab City Sports Cards. Go check them out. Hope everybody has a great weekend and keep collecting.